Service level agreements or SLAs are a predefined set of rules that are configured in your help desk to ensure that your team provides timely support to your customers. It defines the amount of time they have to resolve a ticket and thereby the time within which requesters can expect you to solve their problem. The most important metric you'll have to remember when it comes to an SLA is the due by time. Every ticket in Freshdesk comes with a due by time that is determined automatically by an SLA policy created by your administrator. This can be seen on the sidebar when you open up a ticket or when you sort tickets by their due by time in the ticket list page. Let us look at the default SLA policy to understand how this works. Click on the admin tab and under general settings, select SLA policies. Every Freshdesk account comes with a default SLA policy that is configured with standard settings. Click on the edit button next to it to customize it to fit your needs. Here, you should provide a name and a brief description for the policy if necessary. Up next, you will be able to see the default SLA targets for this policy. This includes two important settings. One, the time within which the first response should be sent to a ticket and two, the time within which the ticket should be resolved. You can go ahead and change these by using the dropdowns for all of your ticket priorities, low, medium, high and urgent. Defining your due by times based on priorities will ensure that your team can work on important tickets first before taking care of the smaller issues. Both of these values will determine the efficiency of your help desk and will directly affect customer satisfaction. When you're configuring your targets, remember that this will apply for your entire support team no matter how big it is. Make sure you account for the size of your support team, their availability and see if your due by times are realistic on all possible occasions. Additionally, you can choose to have your SLA policy follow your pre-configured business hours or go with calendar hours. The second option is useful if you're looking to provide 24-7 support. If you want to, you can also choose to send out escalation mails when the SLAs get violated for each of your priorities. Here, you'll be able to customize when escalation should go out and who it should go to. Depending on your requirements, you can choose to have an escalation when a response is not sent to a ticket and up to four levels of escalation for when a ticket is not resolved. Once you're done, click on the save button to finish editing your default SLA policy. Similarly, Freshdesk allows creation of multiple SLA policies and you can customize them for different kinds of tickets. Click on the new SLA policy button to create a custom SLA. You will have to define SLA targets for each ticket priority just like you did with the default policy. You can assign every additional SLA policy that you create to different types of tickets based on their group, company, product, source, or type. You also have the option to specify multiple items here at the same time. For example, you can have a specific SLA policies for tickets coming in from Steaming Walls, a company, and another one for tickets coming in from Twitter, a source. Please note that when you create a custom SLA policy, you will need to define at least one trigger condition to go with it. Once you're done, this policy will be applied only to those tickets that match the conditions that you specified. If you're creating multiple policies, remember to mind the order in which they are arranged. If you have more than one of them matching a ticket, only the first one will be applied. So make sure you order your SLA rules and then organize them in such a way so that the most important rules are higher up in the order. Finally, please note that your SLA policies and due by times will affect any reports that use first response time and resolution time. You can find out if they're working well for your team by visiting the reports tab. If you require any more assistance, feel free to reach out to Freshdesk support.